Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Raquel and this is Ask Me HR, a place where we talk all about career advice and HR tips to help you better navigate the professional world and really make an impact. And today I have some exciting news for you. I was just promoted to HR director at my job. I am so excited about this accomplishment. I really wanted to share it with you guys. With that, I also thought it would be great to also share some helpful tips and strategies that I've used to secure my promotion and move up in my career. So let's head on over to the learning board so we can jump right into it. My first tip is to make sure that you're given your current role enough time to master. Now, I can't tell you enough how many times working in HR, I see employees that just start working for the company. They want to move up really fast. They're eager, but they actually just started working a few months ago. Now, unless you're a seasoned professional and this is not your first rodeo, give yourself and your manager some time to evaluate your performance, your attitude, your skills, all of the things that you need to be ready for a promotion. Then put some timelines in accomplishing those goals. That way you can ensure that you have a solid foundational set of skills for your next position before you are actually promoted. For me, I knew I needed to focus more on my leadership skills and I will talk more about that in a few moments, so stay tuned. My second tip is to observe and adopt the behaviors of other people who are currently in that role that you wanna be promoted to. So if you wanna be promoted to an accounting manager or a customer service manager, really look at those people and learn their behaviors, only if they're good. Really think to yourself, what are their strengths that they possess and what skills do they have that you don't have? Most importantly, look to see how they're viewed across the organization. And that really has a lot to do with their attitude. I guarantee you that the most successful people at work are the ones that you see moving up the ladder pretty quickly are really the ones that have a consistently good attitude. They're the ones that are also putting in the hours that are needed to get the job done. They are not the people that are running right out of the door right at five o'clock every day. For me, I've been working on my promotion over the last three and a half years. And in that time, I've worked under three different managers, each with their own set of strengths. And I've really looked at those strengths to determine where the gap is between my current strengths and the strengths that those three managers possess. It is very important to note that you do not have to be a brown noser to get promoted. Let your work ethic, your work results, and your attitude speak for themselves. My third tip is to learn new skills and take on more responsibility. If you are the employee that says, well, that's not in my job description or that's above my pay grade, you really don't want to get promoted. In the last two years, I was able to learn new Excel skills like completing the lookups, pivot tables, advanced formulas, and much more. I really was not comfortable with the fact that my manager knew how to do all those things and I did not. Now, this is just an example, but I would recommend doing a skills evaluation for yourself. Ask yourself questions like, what are some of the skills that your manager or someone in the role that you want to be promoted to have that you don't have? What can you do starting now to build on those skills? They don't always have to necessarily be technical skills. Look at their people skills. Are they just great at building relationships and you need help in that aspect? Once you've evaluated those skills, start asking for more responsibility to put your new skills into play, to show your management team that you can add value to the team and the company. Now next, you know the saying, closed mouths don't get fed. This is especially true for the next tip. You have to express an interest in growth to your leaders and most everyone. Before my promotion, I used to be very specific on the times that I would talk to my manager about my desire to become an HR director. I was an HR manager, but I knew I was coming pretty close to moving up to the next level. I was taking on more responsibility, more projects, and most importantly, I was being looked at as a leader in the department. 
That brings me to my last and most important tip. You have to begin to start to think of yourself as a leader. It does not matter if your promotion is to lead cashier. You have to begin to invest in yourself as a leader. Do you know a good test for that? I have a good one. When you can start really leading that coworker or employee, the one that gets on your nerves, the one that annoys you, the one that you can't stand. When you have to nurture and lead and develop someone who is not necessarily the easiest person to deal with, that is a great sign that you are turning the corner. When you start seeing yourself as not just a technical expert and more of a leader, only then will you really start to see true growth. And that employee that is hard to get along with will actually start seeing you as a leader. I can't stress this enough. You have to be intentional. Most great leaders are not born leaders. They actually put in the time to build on their skills and learn from experiences. Start listening to leadership podcasts, reading books, or just observing really great people that are leaders. You will not continue to move up in your career unless you invest in yourself as a people leader. Before I go, I just want to say that I understand that you may be in a situation that you're working for a jerk or a company that does not value growth or there's just not any opportunities for growth. And in those cases, these tips may not work. Sometimes you may actually have to leave your current job to get a promotion that you deserve and that's okay. So that's it guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below what is your number one challenge you are facing now if you're currently trying to get promoted. Sometimes this journey of moving up the career ladder can be a frustrating one, but if you're self-aware, building on your skills, growing as a leader, and keeping a positive attitude through it all, you will see success. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!